Good morning, Carl. What's going to be really interesting here is what the implications are for how Facebook handles political leaders in the future. One of the key questions that the Oversight Board was evaluating was whether there are any recommendations from the board about suspensions when the user is a political leader. This, of course, does set the precedent that it is possible um, to suspend a political leader. And it says that that Facebook made a mistake in not permanently suspending the president at the, dis at the outset of this, saying it was inappropriate for Facebook to impose the indeterminate and standardless penalty of indefinite suspension. Normal penalties include removing the content and permanently disabling the page. They also say the board made policy recommendations for Facebook to implement in developing clear, necessary, and proportionate policies that pr promote public safety and respect freedom of expression. So this is going to have implications for how Facebook handles other polit political leaders going forward. And in this ruling here, guys, they go through the timeline of what happened um, around those riots on January 6th. They say they go through a sort of a tick a TikTok of what happened throughout the day. And they say that the January 6th postings severely violated the community standards on both Facebook and Instagram and that they prohibit they, they violated the rules prohibiting praise or support of people engaged in violence. So going forward, it says that they will not just be doing these temporary suspensions. They're going to have to have a firm ruling and firm rules to um, address these types of things. So indefinite suspensions are not going to be allowed going forward, guys. I'm going to continue to dig through here. Yeah, it's actually quite a, a lengthy um, a decision statement here, Julia. It does seem like obviously the headline is about the president's uh, presence on, on Facebook, which will obviously not happen. But the second headline is definitely going to be the board essentially telling the company you guys need to get um, your stuff together in terms of how you decide who stays and who goes. Yes. So it, they, they say here it is Facebook's role to create necessary and proportionate penalties that respond to severe violations. The board's role is to ensure that Facebook rules and processes are consistent with its content policies, its values and its human rights commitments. They criticize Facebook for applying a vague standardless penalty and then referring the case to the board to resolve saying Facebook seeks to avoid its responsibility. So that is harsh criticism of Facebook from an organization that is funded by Facebook. And they say the board declines Facebook's request and insists that Facebook apply and justify a defined penalty. So putting some of that responsibility back on Facebook. I am expecting to get a comment from Facebook on this decision any moment now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Facebook responds not only to the to the to the decision to, to continue the ban on the president on President Trump, but also the criticism of how they handled this and pushed some of those questions over to the board rather than resolving them themselves. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.